Hi there, welcome back. Starting off this class today on your back, begin to make your way there. Get nice and comfortable, legs extended long, arms long by your side. Gently close your eyes or have them at a soft gaze. This is a twist focus flow, so giving a lot of love to our spine and shoulders. And as you settle into your space, begin to bring awareness to your breath. Begin to deepen through each inhale and exhale. And take two deep breaths. At the end of your second exhale, Bring your arms out at a T. Inhale, feet come off the mat, stack your knees over your hips. Exhale, supine twist, let the legs fall to the left side of your mat. Your legs can be stacked on top of each other or at a stagger. Gaze is to the right. On your inhale, bring your legs back through center. Exhale, let the legs fall over to the right. Gaze is to the left. Again, legs can be stacked or staggered. On your next inhale, bring your legs back to center. Exhale, knees to chest, tiny ball. Keep your right knee to your chest, extend your left leg down long. Hands on your right shin. Release the right leg down, switch it out, bring the left knee close to your chest. Come back to a tiny ball. And then rock yourself forward into a comfortable seat. Lengthening through your spine and reaching through the crown of your head. As you inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, eagle arms. Wrap your right arm underneath the left. Bring the palms to touch or they can come to the tops of your shoulders. Elbows lifting away from your body in line with your shoulders. Gently release, switching it out. Wrap the right arm underneath the left, palms to touch. Keep those elbows lifted. And release whenever you're ready. Come into a tabletop position. Shoulders stacked over wrists, hips stacked over knees. Ground down through your left palm. Inhale, right arm reaches all the way up. Circle your wrists a couple of times. Exhale, thread the needle. Bring that right arm between your left palm and left knee over to the left side of the mat. Right temple to the mat as well. Reach the left palm towards the top of your mat. And you can keep that left palm here. Or if you want to take this a little deeper, you can wrap that left arm around your low spine and reaching for that right hip. Now this is just an option, take it or leave it. Inhale. Exhale, release the arm if you took the bind. Bring the left palm underneath your left shoulder and push yourself out of this pose. Right arm reaches up before planting the right palm down. 
switch it out ground down through the right palm inhale left arm reaches all the way up circle the wrists and exhale thread the needle left temple to the mat bring that right hand to the top of your space and stay here or wrap that arm to your low spine and reach for the left hip one breath here releasing at the end of your exhale pushing yourself up and out of this pose left arm reaches all the way to the sky before planting your left palm down as you inhale drop your belly lift your gaze cow pose exhale cat round through your spine inhale cow exhale cat take a look at your thighs inhale cow exhale cat take a few more rounds of your cow and cat or any other spinal movements that would feel good for you really accentuate these movements get deep into your spine and coming back into your tabletop whenever you're ready flip the toes under inhale exhale downward dog lift the hips inhale shift forward high plank engage your core exhale lower down elbows towards your rib cage inhale cobra lift the chest exhale push back into your downward dog as you inhale right leg will reach all the way up and on the exhale take three hip circles keep that right leg straight so just circling that right leg three times and on the third one you'll bring that right knee towards the center of your body towards your nose and step the right foot through into a low lunge between your palms. Left knee comes down to the mat. Inhale, arms up, modified crescent lunge. Now come to that eagle arm stretch again. Wrap the right arm underneath the left, palms to touch or to the top of your shoulders. Inhale, lift exhale round through your spine bring those elbows to your right knee inhale lift yourself back up release the arms high above your head exhale plant your palms frame the right foot left knee comes off the mat inhale step back high plank exhale lower to belly inhale cobra lift your chest exhale release downward dog inhale left leg will reach all the way up and on the exhale take those three hip circles with a straight leg at the end of your third one step into your low lunge knee to nose as you step the foot through drop the right knee down as you inhale arms up modified crescent lunge exhale now come to those eagle arms on this side left arm wraps underneath the right keep those elbows in line with your shoulders deep inhale exhale round through elbows to your left knee inhale lift yourself back up release the arms up above exhale plant the hands frame your left foot inhale step back high plank exhale lower inhale cobra exhale downward dog all right now on your inhale reach that right leg all the way up as you exhale bring the knee towards your nose 
Step the right foot between your palms, low lunge. Left knee stays lifted. Ground down through your feet. Inhale, arms reach up, crescent lunge. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, eagle arms. Right arm wraps underneath your left arm. Palms to touch or to the tops of your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, rounding through. Bring those elbows towards your right knee. Great job. As you inhale, lift yourself back up. Exhale, release the arms. Bring the palms down to your heart center. Ground down through your right foot. Deep inhale. As you exhale, lift off into a warrior three. Left foot comes off the mat. Drop your torso down. Engage your core. Now bend through your right knee. Slowly drop the left foot down to the mat. Inhale, crescent, arms reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Right leg stays how it is, left foot spins down and open. Arms come out to a T. Reach through all 10 fingertips. Right knee stacked over right ankle. Option to take an arm bind. You can bring the right palm in between your shoulder blades. Bend through the left elbow and reach the left arm behind you and towards that right palm. Keep bending through your right knee. Release out of the arm bind if you took it. Deep inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the arms, frame your right foot, spin the left foot forward, low lunge. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower to belly. Inhale, cobra, lift the chest. Exhale, push up and back, downward dog. Inhale, left leg lifts all the way up. Exhale, low lunge, step the left foot between your palms. Ground down through your feet. Inhale, lift, crescent lunge. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, eagle arms. Left arm wraps under the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round through. Elbows to knee. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, release the arms. Bring your palms to your heart center. Inhale, weight is in your left foot. Exhale, lift off, warrior three. Right foot comes off the mat. Drop your torso forward. Aiming for that right foot to be in line with your right hip. Bend through your left knee. Drop the right foot down. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Arms are at a T. Take the arm bind here if you would like. Inhale. Exhale. Release the arm bind if you took it. Inhale, reach through your fingertips. Exhale, cartwheel the arms, frame your left foot. Inhale, high plank, step back. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, tops of the toes, look between your palms. Exhale, slowly walk into a forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way up into a mountain pose. Reach those arms high above your head. Exhale, release the arms down long. 
Begin to wrap your right arm underneath the left. Come to your eagle arms. Ground down through your left foot. Right foot comes off the mat. Begin to wrap that right leg over the left. Come to your eagle pose. Option to stay here. Or if you want to test your balance a bit more, you can sink your hips a bit before rounding through your spine and bringing those elbows to your right knee. Now whatever variation you are in, engage your core and ground down through that left foot. Begin to release out of your eagle pose. Keep the right foot lifted off the mat. Arms above your head. Right knee is bent in line with your right hip. Take a hold of your right foot and either stay here or extend that right leg straight out in front of you. Then kick that right leg behind you into a warrior three. Really testing out the balance in that left leg. Gently release out of this pose. Bring the right foot to the mat. Shake out the legs. Now switching sides. Wrap the left arm underneath the right. Ground down through the right foot. Left leg lifts. As you then wrap the left leg over the right. Come to your eagle pose. Sink the hips and round through if you are taking that variation. Elbows to knee. Remember to breathe and engage your core. Begin to slowly lift and release into your one leg mountain. So the arms are above your head, left knee is bent in line with your left hip. Then take a hold of your left foot. Stay here or extend that left leg straight out in front of you. Then kick your left leg back behind you into your warrior three. Ground down through that right foot. Engage your core. Here for just a moment, deep inhale. Exhale, release, left foot to the mat. Make your way onto your back. Preparing for a reclined pigeon pose. So your knees are bent, soles of the feet planted. Cross the right ankle on top of your left thigh. Make a figure four pose. And either stay here or lift the left foot off the mat. Interlace your hands behind your left thigh. And we are taking a gentle twist in this reclined pigeon. So your arms come out to a T and just let your legs fall over to the left side so that your right foot plants on the ground. Come back to center. Release out of this pose and switch it out. Left ankle comes on top of the right thigh, make a figure four. And either stay here or lift the right foot off the mat. Interlace your hands behind your right thigh. And when you're ready, taking that gentle twist in this reclined pigeon, arms are at a T, let the legs fall over to the right side. Left foot to the ground. One breath here. Come back through center. Extend the left leg down long. Bring the right knee close to your chest and body. Inhale. Exhale, supine twist. Bring that right leg across your body over to the left side. Arms are out at a T, gaze is to the right. Mm -hmm. 
on your next inhale come back through center switch it out right leg is long left knee to your chest inhale exhale supine twist cross that left leg over your body falling to the right side gazes to the left On your next inhale, come back to center and exhale, release into your Shavasana. Legs are long, arms long by your side. Gently close your eyes. Take the next few moments to fully relax and sink into your space. You've shown up, you've done the work. Now give yourself the chance to just be. When it's time to come out of this pose, I will gently guide you. Bring awareness back into your body. Wiggle your fingertips and your toes. Bring your knees to your chest, come to a tiny ball. Rock side to side before rocking forward into a comfortable seat. Ending class with one breath together. As you inhale, ground down through your tailbone. Reach your arms high above your head. Exhale, palms together, down to your heart center. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this flow and please subscribe to support me.